What is up with YouTube? I killed Apple, and today I'm going to show you a neat way to fix the problem if you over the air update and try to jailbreak and you're stuck on the Apple logo and you don't want to lose all your stuff or restore it or restore it and lose all your stuff. This is what I mean. You got either corresponding to your device, so you have a white boot logo, you're stuck on that, or you're stuck on a black boot logo. My device is already jailbroken, it's fine, it's not over the air, so I can't plug it in and show you, and I don't have iTunes installed currently right now, because I had to install it to clean my computer out and stuff, and I'm going to reinstall it later, but anyway. Um, basically what happens is that the jailbreak fails because of you over the air updated, and evasions, uh, since the current with about the kernels, uh, not letting it do. So basically what you need to do is have a, um, the current version most current version that you can get that is still jailbreakable by Evasion 7 um, over, over the air update. Um, not many people know about this. All that all, all, all tutorials I've seen is like, oh, you have to fully restore. Oh, you have to fully restore. Or you restore from a backup. Like, no. No. What if you don't want to restore from a backup? You know? This, goes, this does it. will restore it, but with no erase. Don't erase nothing. So you need your corresponding IPSW. I'll provide this in the link. Uh, in a link, it's called. Um, it's actually called something else, but I renamed it to No Restore IPSW. It's no rate. You just don't erase it. Basically, this is is what it does it takes out uh, a file that tells the device to restore it in iTunes um, to make it happen. So what you do is if you're stuck with the Apple logo. You need to go and put yourself your device in DFU mode. So if you don't know how to do that, there's videos on YouTube about how to do that. Um, I would like to demonstrate it, but I can't. I promise you, this works. I've done it on different devices. Yeah. So basically, what you do is you need a. Hold on. Anyway, um, basically, what you need to do is. You need a Windows PC. There's no tool out for Mac yet. If you have a Mac, you need to run Windows alongside it or find a Windows based PC. Secondly, you'll need your IPSW. So, what you need to do is you'll take your IPSW, you download it, and drag it into this no restore IPSW. I see. You want to run it as administrator, and it will go and unpack it to a certain local. Thing and what's it'll do once it's done, once it's done, it'll either put it on your desktop or wherever your IPSW saved at, and it should be done. And all you have to do is where it says restore, click shift, and then left click, and then find your IPSW for your device. That is the uh, UPG one. I have that already because I done it earlier for another device that got broken and got stuck on the Apple logo. And it says you, it would be UPG iPod 5.1 if putting your device's iPod 5.1. And it will basically restore it without the need of um, a uh, shoot, in race. Trust me, I would not lie to you. Um, I've done it twice. There's plenty of other people who've done it. I've done it. And it works. I just don't have my. I want to erase my device, and now I don't have iTunes. If you want a proof video, I will do that later on for you. But yeah, I also did an uh, iPhone 4S, so it basically does work. It just takes a certain file out. It tells it to restore it, and just you know, it basically just updates it without restoring it. You know, um, and you don't lose all your stuff. I will. I promise you this, it works. It's the same guy who made the SSH j jar tool for iPhone 4s and other down. So if you have any questions, you can contact me on Twitter at iKilledApple and other resources. Um, thanks for watching.